Hey everyone, uh, it's Sal here again with a follow-up video. So, my last video we installed Kodi onto a Fire TV with the help from ADB Fire, um, which um, made it very simple and fast. What we're going to do now is, since we can only launch Kodi from within the settings menu under applications, um, we can actually create an icon not really create but change an icon to launch Kodi and apparently we can link to Kodi with this icon as well and change the icons um, so the most popular app that people are use according to these instructions it's called Icono TV okay and it's a free app so you would download it and with the help of ADB Fire you would relink it to Kodi and also replace the icon and this is what we're gonna do okay so to begin uh, and we're just gonna follow these instructions it looks like it's just one step with the uh, with your ADB fire open you're going to click on llama options okay and that's right here perfect so there's two programs uh, you can choose from Icono TV or classic TV I did install Icono, so we are going to keep it as Icono. Um, now we also have uh, other uh, options here: boot to the media center, linked media center to the program, both or no action. So we're going to link media center to the program, okay? And the media center we're using is Kodi. And for the icon of choice, we're going to replace the program. And uh, the icon for your program choice will be replaced by the icon of your media center. Perfect. This is what we want to do. And hopefully this works. We're going to click OK. Llama not installed. Click the Llama install button. To, OK. So look at this. We, we live and learn. OK. So we're going to go through the options again. But we have to install this, this Llama program. Uh, so we're going to Icono TV install. Look at this is a very helpful program. It actually told us what went, what went wrong. We want to link Media Center to the program. We're going to use Kodi and we're going to replace the program icon. Let's click OK. And here we go. Device connect. Uh, the bar has changed to um, to a bar. OK, what do we got? So Llama installed. Llama settings applies. Please run Llama and import settings from USB to activate. Media Center icon applied. Okay, so I'm not sure what the USB portion means. However, we are going to check to see if the icon was in fact replaced. Okay, folks, we're back in front of our media center, and looks like Icono TV is still the same. Um, we're going to let's let's restart the box. Let's. You know, let's hope this works and restart the box. So we're going to go to settings and system. Um, restart. Okay, let's hope this works. Uh Oh man. Our logo was replaced, but it's replaced with a blank square. And it did not relink. This was a total fail. Look at that. It did not relink. It's not even in English. There it is. Okay, so we got our Kodi icon. Okay, so from this point, we are going to manually, using Llama, link the icon to Kodi. So you're going to go into Applications and Manage Installed Applications. 
you're going to look for llama and launch it. You're going to accept. Okie dokie. And from here, click Groovy and now look for the plus sign on the bottom right hand corner. You're going to select Add Condition, um, a um, Active Application, choose an app, and you're going to select Icono TV. Leave everything as in the app started or in the foreground. Then you're going to add an action, which is going to be, I believe, um, start application. Or run application, sorry about that. And from here, you're going to select Cody. Now you're going to click test action. Now this is just a test, so we're going to actually exit out and run it from the home screen. So just hit the back button and launch Cody from the home screen. And there it is. Test successful. Pretty neat. And uh, there you have it. Manually connecting, linking Cody to the shortcut. Anyways, folks, uh, I hope that wasn't too uh, too hard for you to follow. Very easy to do. Um, if you enjoyed this video somewhat, please give it a like. If you want to see more Cody-related stuff, do my best to post, or anything else that you like on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, ciao for now.